What's up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is an unboxing and review of the new Busby Destiny. All right, guys, let's take a look at the box. So this is the Air Warriors Alter Check Destiny. Um, it says it's going to blast 20 darts in two seconds. That's freaking crazy. I can't wait to test that out. That's, that's pretty awesome if it can do that. It is an air-powered blaster, so you're going to pump up it's going to store air and then you're going to pull the trigger back here to release the air and move the clip through and fire all 20 darts all right guys let's take a look at the back of the box all right so this is a clip fed blaster so you have to load your darts into the into the clip you feed the clip in on the left side of the blaster you pump up the blaster it says it's going to take 15 to 20 pumps to uh to fill up the tank and then you're going to pull the trigger, and it says, pull the trigger to launch darts up to 60 feet. Uh, so their advertising ranges up to 60 feet, which is a little lower than other Busby blasters. I think they usually average around 72, but um, it can do so many darts so quickly that I think we're okay with a little less range. If it, if it can get that 60 feet, I'd be uh, very happy with that. As you can see here, blasts up to 60 feet. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, let's go ahead and crack into this guy. Okay guys, uh, that's what you get in the package. You get your uh, 20 dart clip, you get the blaster obviously, and you get uh, 20 uh, Busby suction darts, which they call their uh, long distance darts. Um, one thing I would like to point out right off the bat is uh, there is a lot of glue around the edges of these um, green tips, and even some on the, the front, like right here has some glue on the top. So. Um, the quality of these darts are probably not quite as good as the quality of Nerf darts, but um, we'll test out how well they do in comparison to uh, stock Nerf darts in the range test, so uh, stay tuned for that. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the blaster. It's got some pretty neat little detailing. Um, it's kind of confetti-like, I guess I would say, uh, with all different kinds of triangles and different shapes, squigglies and whatnot. Um, and then, so, but I mean, I think it's nice that Busby's adding some texture to their blasters. I think that that's a good thing. Um, and you get that along the front here on this part here and then down here. Um, and then also on the back side of the blaster, which is also detailed with that on the, the flat side here, up here, and then down here. So, uh, both sides of the blaster are basically the same except um, sorry about that, except uh, you get a sticker, which I don't really care for the stickers. I think we sh this should be embossed. I don't know why Busby doesn't um, emboss the names, the name of the blaster on the, on the blaster, but uh, they always seem to go with the sticker, which is cheaper. Um, this blaster was only, uh, I think, 1997 or 1998 or something like that on Walmart.com. Um, I'll put a link uh, to the blaster in the description box below. This has got like a a very uh, cartoony look to it uh, with the bright yellow, bright blue, orange, yellow. I mean, lots of bright colors, which is good to let the public know it's a toy. But it is kind of cartoony in a way, which is good and bad. I guess it's uh, whatever your view is. And if you don't like it, you can always paint it, right? So there you go. It's got a faux tack rail on top, uh, but there's no attachments. Busby doesn't have any attachments to go on the blaster and none can go on this. It's just there for looks. Um, overall, I really like the blaster. Um, let's go ahead and stick the, the clip in just to see how that works. So the clip will go in the left side of the blaster. It only goes in, uh, it will only go in the left side. And I guess it's in there, but it does seem like it'll fall out right away. So note that, that it doesn't lock in there, which is a little bit disappointing, at least, um, from what I can tell. It just goes in there and it just sits there. So that's a little disappointing that it doesn't lock in. All right, so I guess you'd hold the blaster something like this when firing, and then you can pump it up here. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Definitely full there. Um, and uh, let's just go ahead and fire it for fun right now. Oh, yeah. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> One trigger pull, all 20 darts. Done. So, uh, I guess you can find out if that was under two seconds or not. Uh, it seemed like it. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, I think it's a little weird, though, that the, the, the clip doesn't have a lock there. Um, but uh, I'll tell you more about my opinions and stuff later. But, yeah, I mean, I think uh, the, the grips are very large, very comfortable. It has a um, clip release lock right here. So if it gets jammed, that this will release uh, the clip so you can pull it out. Um, the trigger is nice. I like the pull. It's a nice pull of the trigger. Um, not too hard, not too easy. So that's good. You got a big front barrel there. So it doesn't seem to like it would affect the darts at all. There's a pretty big hole. The pump grip is very nice, um, and it doesn't come out. It, it, there's a lock there, so it can't fall out of the blaster. But, yeah, I think Busby is uh, stepping their game up a little bit. You know, I, I think uh, I think we need to take this to the range now and uh, see what kind of ranges we get. Okay, guys, so we're going to do um, 20 shots level. Um, trying to do uh, burst fire or single fire. I'll see what I can do. Um, my guess is it'll be burst fire. And then we'll try to do the same thing with nerf darts to kind of compare and see which perform better and uh, make sure that the nerf darts are compatible in this uh, Busby clip. And then we'll do some angled shots with uh, both types of darts and then we'll do full auto uh, unloading the whole clip with both types of darts. So yeah, let's uh, just go ahead and pump her up and get to it. <laughs> Okay guys, this blaster is a ton of fun. Um, the ranges, let's just go ahead and talk about the ranges first. Uh, not the best ranges in the world, but for a fully automatic blaster that fires as fast as this one does, I'd say it's pretty awesome. Um, it's level shots we're getting about average 35 feet. And actually, I think it actually performed a tad bit better when you unloaded the entire clip as opposed to going to burst fire. But uh, that being said, uh, the ranges were probably about 35, maybe 40 feet. And then angled, you were getting right around that 60 foot range they advertise. So uh, not terrible. And um, it, I mean, if you enjoy a fully automatic air blaster, uh, they're back guys. Cause this is, this is, the, this is it. This is the new Nerf mag strike. This is uh, pretty, pretty awesome. And I'm so excited that we have um, these air powered blasters back in stock in stores. Unfortunately, they're not Nerf branded because the Nerf lost the patent, but Busby has them and they're, this is this is awesome guys. I highly recommend it. It's just so, so much fun to hear that thing go pop, 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 pop. And uh, you really get to enjoy, enjoy uh, being a kid again with a blaster like this, I think so. The, uh, a few downsides to the blaster uh, that I'll go over here real quick. Um, the, the clip, sh I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't hold in better. It, it, it will fall out pretty easily if you just when you have it in there. And the only way to get it to lock in is if you fire off a couple shots. So that's one downside. The next downside is also about the clip. I really wish Busby would have um, sold this blaster with two clips, at least two clips, because... As of now, we don't think that we're going to be able to purchase these clips separately. I really, really hope, please, Busby, please sell these separately. Please, please, please. Because 
this blaster is very a lot of fun and it's <laughs> not going to be quite as much fun without extra clips to be able to put in there uh, that being said, I still recommend the blaster. It was only $20. I mean, I feel like that's a super bargain for a blaster like this, 20 bucks. So, I mean, it's not the end of, world, end of the world to have to buy a few of them, but uh, I would rather just buy and, you know, had two clips and paid $25, you know. So, that's my opinion on that. I think, other than that, the blaster is very comfortable. I love the two grips. I think that's fun to just hold it like this and go, you know. Um... But then again, I think it'd be pretty easy to modify if you would like more of an SMG feel. You can move the trigger up here. I know Make Test Battle has already done um, a mod for a trigger that moves it up here. Um, I'll probably link that video in the description because uh, they're awesome guys and uh, they have very, very good videos, especially very good mod guides. Um, and I've used their mod guides when I first started modding and they were very helpful. So, yeah, I mean, I think the blaster is neat looking um it's a little cartoonish for me but um it's not awful looking i think if with a paint job this thing could be pretty awesome so i'll probably do one of those at some point and then the other thing i want to show you guys is just kind of how it how this thing moves when there isn't a clip in to show you how it, it just seals it moves back and forth and seals against the clip okay guys so that was pretty awesome um you can see how fast that thing just moves um, to to shoot those darts um, to make that seal and shoot those darts. That's pretty sweet for 20 bucks I highly highly recommend this. It's a lot of fun um, I really hope they're gonna come out with more clips, but if they don't I still recommend it um, And if you have to buy two or three of them buy two or three of them, right? You know and with that guys I just want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate your viewership. Please like subscribe and share and as always peace out y'all